We're here at the Egyptian Theater in Hollywood, the very famous Egyptian Theater. When I was a kid, I used to come here. And today, we're honoring Carla Lindley. Carla Lindley, uh, this is her 100th birthday, 100 years old. Can you imagine? This is her. This is the famous Carla in the fa monster. She was the sweetheart. She was Dracula in 1930. Carla was the first words in a horror film. I mean, she, the first words came out of, this is Carla's relatives, Bella, Uncle Carl, and here is Carla's father, Joseph Lindley. There he is. And there is Carla and her mother as a little girl. And she's sweet. Do you imagine she's a hunter today? And there is Carl Lindley, the very famous her father. Her uncles, her cousins. And this is the beautiful Carla Lindley. Look how beautiful. Look at those legs. Look. Isn't that beautiful? And here is Joseph Lindley, Carla's father, in front of the House of Universal. This is the House of Universal. And this is Carla's mama. These are uncles, cousins, relatives, and Joseph. This is Carla's headshot from Universal. Isn't that a great headshot? Look at this. And a bit of Broadway Melody. Remember that she was in? Beautiful, beautiful. And here is Her Majesty the Prince, Carla's headdress from that wonderful, there she is. See, she did, isn't this beautiful? Look at that. Great. And here she is, look at that lovely. And Phantom of the Opera, remember 1929, my God. Look over there, let's, let's take a look at that. Look at that. Look at those wonderful people. Aren't they beautiful? And she's a hundred today. It's been naughty showing her legs. She loves showing her legs. She, if you had legs like that, you would be happy to show them. And these are her best wishes of her celebration of the, of her birthday. This, this, everyone signed it here. Her birthday card signed by the Hollywood Collector Show. Ruta Lee. I even signed it. See, am I? There I am, right there. See. There I am, and we have all the all the celebrities here. Uh, here she, look at that! I love that shot. Isn't that beautiful? And this is the biography book of Carla Lindley, Hollywood mum. See, beautiful. Look at that. I came to Hollywood at the age of 21 uh -huh. as Miss Austria. I was in the Miss International beauty pageant uh -huh. and um, people from Glendale were so nice um, to uh, offer me uh, to take me in their house uh -huh. uh, for several weeks and I was asked them by the German broadcast to go to Hawaii and over there in Hawaii I uh, got the touch of the um, world championship of the Harlem Globetrotter Beautiful. And we went to uh, King Kamehameha. Uh -huh. And then on the way back, I um, was asked to enter the Miss World, but I fell in love with this country. You, so you're here. And I came back. I was in Hogan's Heroes. Yes, tell me about that. I was one of the um, three girls. I interviewed all those people. Yeah, there. I, I was one of the three girls who came from uh, Germany um, uh -huh. into the camp of uh, Bob Crane, yes. Hogan's Heroes, to look were secrets out of the prisoners mm -hmm. and um, then I also was in Las Vegas I had a seven-year show on backstage life over there mm -hmm. and I am starting in the film pool time we are going to show a film clip today, today and it has good. Carla and, sing today. and I'm going to sing mm -hmm. I have a special song for Carla a wonderful world for wonderful Carla oh I love it yeah when did you meet her um, I did meet her um, um, I was at the Hollywood um, autograph show uh -huh. at um, um, the Marriott Hotel Convention yes. Center mm -hmm. and um, Carla Lemley's name was brought to my attention and I um, awarded her with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm -hmm. That's way past a year ago and we are just the best, the very best oh, of wonderful, friends. Wonderful. Well, here in the afternoon, this, uh, at the Egyptian Theater, wow, isn't this a great theater? It's a great theater uh, every day. Yes, it is. When I was a kid, I used to come here 
uh, with my mother. I, I was a child actor out here in Hollywood. You people out there know that, but uh, this young man is uh, Daniel Kinski. Kinski, and you are in the military, a naval officer. Yep. And lieutenant commander. Uh huh. Tell me about growing up with the monsters. You you wrote this book. This is Carla Lindley's hundredth birthday. It is October twentieth. I get chills just just thinking of a hundredth birthday. Today's October the twentieth, and this lady I met uh, at the book signing last week, and boy, she really is together. Oh. She is. She's with it. She doesn't have any cane, any walker. Just and she talks. I mean, she, her mind is just there. She's sharper than we are. Yes, yes. <laughs> Tell me about the book, this wonderful book, that Growing Up With Monsters. Tell well, me. it seemed like a very rare Hollywood story to find someone who actually really did grow up with monsters. And the monsters we think of are classic Hollywood monsters. Uh -huh. You think of Bela Lugosi, you think of Boris Karloff. Right. Claude Rains, maybe, if you can't see too well. <laughs> Claude Rains? <laughs> I don't know about him. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you, you think, well, who was there? And uh -huh. as far as I can tell, there's only one person that was actually there and grew up on this, the studio lot uh -huh. as a child from 1921 to 1937, uh -huh. and that was Carl. So I thought, well, that would be kind of a fun spin. So you put it out in the illustrated book for people on first uh, who love to judge books by their cover. When did it come out? Uh, just this year. This few, year? A few months ago. How's it doing? A few months ago? Oh. Yeah, it's going pretty well. It's uh -huh. got a website, growingupwithmonsters.com, uh -huh. and people order books, and then I'll bring them up from San Diego, and she'll sign them, uh -huh. and I'll send them out. And how about your uh, your Navy officers and your friends in the Navy? I've, I kind of give them some. I'll bring some to them. I gave one to my boss, which kind of helped give me a day off today. Oh, did he? <laughs> Coming out here from San Diego? Yeah. How long have you been stationed in San Diego? Uh, about three years now. Uh huh. And uh, I've been in, uh, working on 18 years now in the military, so. 18? Wow. Came in at 17. Uh huh. Why? 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 I mean, at 17. Uh, Gets me out of Michigan to California. Because I worked the base. I used to, <laughs> I used to work the bases a lot, and I traveled all of Vietnam entertaining the troops. And I was in Subic Bay in, uh -huh. in the Philippines. And uh, were you stationed there at all? No, but I visited Manila and I've been to Hong Kong before Hong they Kong. gave back to China. I love Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah. so. Anyway, let's get back with this beautiful book of yours, Growing Up With Monsters. It's, uh, who, tell me about this man right here, who, who is, there he is, right here. Ray Bradbury, I contacted his daughter Alexandra and was asking if he could maybe do a forward. Uh -huh. I saw him at uh, Forey Ackerman's 90th birthday party and had this nice drawing that you can see in here of uh, Forey. Uh -huh. And we showed this to, to Ray and he really... <laughs> Well, of course, Forey loved it, and uh -huh. Ray loved it, too, because it was all of uh, Forey's friends, so to speak. And, uh -huh. and so he kind of really liked the idea of it and knew we were serious, and he did like a little, you know, a short forward, but it's a short book. So, uh -huh. um, and easy reading, and it's wonderful. Very, Look at this. Very easy. And, uh, That's Ray Battery. <laughs> verbatim, so. <laughs> yeah. But it was just really nice that he did that, and I actually uh -huh. got it overseas. I was in Kuwait at the time, so I was kind of still trying to slowly do this from overseas. Yes. Tell me, oh, tell me, let's get back to Kuwait and all those people and, you know, the war. What do you think of the, our president? It's gonna, you think he should send troops there? I mean, that many? 40,000 troops more? All I can say is I have total faith in him because he's my commander in chief. So I I don't think he's going to send it between you and I. I hope he doesn't. But anyway, I'm you know I'm a real Democrat, ladies and gentlemen. I I don't believe what the Republicans really want. They really want to stay in war and develop. And but uh, I was in uh, Afghanistan. I matter of fact, during the hippie days in the 60s, I took buses and got all the hashies and all that. And those, I remember those days, and that's what... I'm surprised you can with the hashies. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, the war is very difficult. I'm, I'm having a commander, so I'm really bringing my own feelings out about the war. Yeah. But um, we should really, yeah, we should concentrate on uh, America, have security inside America. They yeah. worry about outside. I think more secure inside. And, and help our boys and girls and our older people in America, you know? That's Especially our older people like Carla. <laughs> yeah, Carla, you love that, don't you, older people? That's, I do, I do. That's I, wonderful. What have you learned by meeting her? 
as a young man. Well, what I've learned is that she still has this zest for life. She's got a busier social calendar than I do. She goes out and sees films and will say, hey, have you seen Australia? And I'll be like, no, was it good? Uh -huh. And then I'll go see it. Uh, she just stays very active and she really likes things that are nature and kind of in tune with kind of a spiritual side. She's a spiritual lady. Yeah, and she always has been. And uh -huh. just really into kind of nature and natural stuff. and. So that's contagious. When Did you ever ask her what she eats? I mean, that she eats uh, certain kinds of foods, or just well, I see her. She's part of that Meals on Wheels program, so I see that some things she has are kind of a normal vegetable. But Not she, vegetable. She, she does try to stay away from sugar. Uh -huh. thing. But yeah. uh, aside from that, she pretty much has what she wants. A hundred years old, you got to stay away from sugar. That is a secret, I think. Yeah, that's really, a, that's a killer. And yeah. she loves her tea, and uh -huh. so. She's this is her right here, right? Yeah. That's look, look at her. 1909. Isn't she beautiful? Her little, 1909. Her little toes are still going in 1909. 1909. Look at that. Just Isn't she adorable? <laughs> so she really is amazing. This is all. It's a Phantom of the Opera. Oh, I can't remember. Who was in that, the first one? You remember? Ron Chaney Sr. Ron Chaney Sr. Mary, Mary Senior. Philbin. Yeah. Yeah. Mary yeah, Dolan, yeah. Yeah, we don't worry about Junior except for Carl Lemley Jr. because he really helped bring the <laughs> the monsters about. I just saw this film recent. Uh, this, oh yeah, this one. yeah. It was like there was and like seven one sheet posters for it, different versions. Uh huh. If she would have grabbed any one of those one sheets, she would have. Look at that. A lot of money. <laughs> this book is great. It's fun. It's a little slice of everything. Uh huh. And the cover artwork's actually in there. Yeah. Did you have fun? <laughs> did you have fun doing this? Book? I loved it because I got to work with Jack Davis, who did. I don't know if you remember the Tales from the Crypt. Uh, yes, stuff I did. In the fifties and sixties, he did those covers. Uh -huh. A lot of them, and uh, along with Graham Ignalls and people like that. Uh -huh. uh, Al Feldstein. But really good. He's eighty-five now, and he was doing these drawings. He liked doing it for Carla, who, of course, makes him seem like a little kid at eighty-five. Uh -huh. I'm eighty. She's twenty years. Older than I, and I am just, I can't believe I'm going inter to interview or talk to this lady for 80th birthday, a 90, 100th birthday, and I'm 80. Wow. I feel good too. You look good for 80. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> anyway, it's wonderful talking to you. You too. Daniel, nice I wish you a lot of luck. Pronounce that last name again Kinski. Like, Kinski. Uh, Klaus Kinski. 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 Very nice. Thanks. Thank you. Look who this is, Hi, my dear Hi. friend. Yeah, how'd you do over the weekend? But, oh, honey, we're on TV. Tell oh. me, we're here celebrating Carla's birthday. Don't worry. Tell me something. Um, Gloria Paul. Gloria Paul. Of course. You change me all the time. You know that, don't you? This is beautiful Gloria Paul. Girls, you know Gloria? She's fabulous. She does a lot of... I made this outfit. Thank you it's, for complimenting me on it. It's great. It's a great outfit. And it's her birthday of... Hundred years old. It's amazing. It's, what do you? How she, long you've known her? I've known uh, Carla a very short time, actually. Really? Yeah, just um, maybe a year or so. When, uh -huh. when she was honored at Me the too. Motion Same Picture thing. Council last right. year, were you there? No. Anyhow, I met her before. At, and she astounds me. She's so magnificent. What a personality. What do you think She's is so her sweet. secret? What do you think is her secret? She has a good attitude. That's important. Yeah, that's the whole thing. And loving know? and spiritual. Yeah, and she's is kind to everybody. Spiritual she's very being. kind to everybody, and, and, and everybody adores her, you yeah, know? Yeah, you she, look lovely, Gloria. Thank, thank you. She was Gloria a, Paul has done so many movies around here in Hollywood. Her her fame is... Um, Voluptua. Voluptua as well. Look at her. That was a She'll TV never show. drown, will she? That was a TV <laughs> show I had back <laughs> Back in the fifties, I was. Her TV I was, show, voluptuous. I right. was too tired for TV, and they fired me after seven weeks. <laughs> you look good, Bill. Thank you. So nice seeing you, Skippy. Okay. Yeah, hi. This is my friend Kathy. Hi, Kathy. How are you? She was at the show. She met Carla yes, there yes. too. Yes, yes. You met Carla. Yeah. Yes, I did. Why don't you say happy birthday, Carla? Happy birthday, Carla. And look into the camera and say happy birthday, Carla. Happy birthday, beautiful, wonderful, fabulous, Carla. Skippy low, darling. I just want to wish you a happy hundred birthday today. Well, thank you. Look at the sky, how beautiful it is for you today. Yes, it's a beautiful Brand day. new day. It's right. You look wonderful, my darling. Thank you. Tell me here, at the Egyptian Theater, yes. you are celebrating your 100th birthday. Could you imagine, 60 years ago, when you were 40, you used to come here. I certainly did. Remember? I never forget. I love this place. Growing up here in Hollywood, Right. And uh, any 
anything to remember right now. This is New Hollywood. Look, New Hollywood. I like the old Hollywood. Oh, well, naturally. I'm sorry. It, it, the yeah. old Hollywood was wonderful. Yes. It wasn't crime. It wasn't sewer. It was, it was beautiful. That's right. You grew up where it was first class, my darling. Yes. I grew up at Universal. Universal. And I loved every yes. moment of it. Tell me about the beautiful monster book, that lovely monster book. I just was looking at it just now. Well, it's a wonderful naval officer. This is did. the author of it. Yes. Rick is the author of this book. Ray, how are you? Rick. 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 Oh, oh, is this Rick? Yes, Rick. Hi, no, Rick. How are you? Rick. Come here. How are you? Yes. Are you the author of the book? Yes. I, Oh, yes, I thought the is. naval officer was. <laughs> no, no, that was another book. Oh, another mm -hmm. oh, what, what this book? This is her biography. Ah, I didn't that read I, that. I didn't read that. Well, Rick, you forgive have me. to read it. <laughs> and your name is Rick? Atkins. Atkins. Oh, wonderful. Yes. You must have learned a lot about this lovely lady. Absolutely. By I've known her for 13 years, and we took six years writing the book. Six years? Did yeah. you have it all on tape, or just uh, no. she did it? We know each other. Yes. <laughs> it's a wonderful, wonderful evening to celebrate a birthday here at the Egyptian Theater. Yes, it Your is. Your 100th birthday, and I just want to thank you, and you have a wonderful crowd waiting for you, and I don't want to keep you, my darling. Thank you so much. Okay? I want to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. Camille Franklin, Camille. how are you? Bye. How do you know, how do you know uh, our beautiful lady today? 100th oh, birthday. Well, uh, I got an invitation from Inga, Tom Tangen. Right. And uh, the, the Asia's little gonna beautiful sing. I with think she's Carla. Gonna sing tonight, isn't she? I don't know. Yes, I think she I think does so. usually sing, though, yeah. at these events. Yeah. If she hosts them. Yes. And you look lovely, my girl. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Who am I talking to? Marcus? I'm Marcus Harwell, yeah. Hi. You're from Maliwood, are you originally? Or? Well, L.A. in general. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, I would love you to wish this lovely lady... Indeed. ...a hundred birthday. Can you imagine? One hundred? It's amazing. Happy look at that centennial, camera. Carla. I hope you live a hundred more. And this is a young man. A hundred birthday. You have. You, would you believe you're attending a birthday party of a hundred years old? I I, I can't even fathom it. I haven't. E I don't even have a fifth of that yet. So. <laughs> How old are you? I'm about to turn 16. And your name is? I'm Kieran. Kieran, are you an actor, Kieran? I am indeed. You are. You're anything right now coming out? Uh, well, I'm in uh, Carla's last movie, uh -huh. um, Pool Time. Okay. Um, other than that, not too much. When's that movie coming out? Uh, they hope to have it finished soon and uh, maybe do a little screening in the summer. Are you a director of the film? Or uh, I'm in it. You're, you're, you're an actor too. Oh, okay. Where are you from originally? Uh, I was born in Oklahoma. Okay. And the family moved uh, away from there as fast as possible. Growing up here in Hollywood, actor, studied uh, with yeah. you? Uh, I have studied with uh, Lisa Picot oh. and uh, David Kaufman. Love them both. Um, they, they've shaped me in more ways than I can even count. 16 years old. Wow. 16. At a hundred, a hundred year old birthday party. Wow, you're the youngest here at this birthday party. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So I really would like you to look in that camera and give her that love of 16. Go ahead. Happy birthday, Carla. May you see a hundred more and... May I be there to experience them with you? I just interviewed a young man who's 16 years old at Carla's 100th birthday party here at the Egyptian Theater. And now I have a young man who's 18 years old. And you are here at the Egyptian celebrating Carla's birthday. Yes, I am. How does that feel, 18 years old, attending and 100? Year old birthday party. It's very interesting. Is it? Are you an actor? No, I'm not. No. Would you do me a favor? Would you look in the camera and say happy birthday, Carla? And you too, would you do that for me? Just say Carla, happy birthday, both of you. Carla, Carla happy, happy birthday. birthday. That's happy one. Who's that young man over there who wants to say happy birthday to Carla? Sure. Sir, just come on in, would you? Please? Absolutely. Who are you? Hi, Carla. I'm Daniel Hepner. Okay. I'm a young actor. Oh, he's a young actor. Yes, okay. and I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you very much. And I, I just saw her. She looks so cute. Isn't she wonderful? Yeah. 100. I'm just telling this young man, 18. She looks I, so much younger. 18 he is, and he's 16 over there. I'm 33. <laughs> but 
amazing, 1816, attending a birthday party of a lady of a legend, a hundred years old, here at the Egyptian. It's great. Thank you. Uh, Stephen Brent, how are you? Uh, this fine, is a, matter of fact, this is the gentleman who helped me with my book, The Boy with the Betty Grable Legs, right? Yeah, I hear that's doing really well. Yeah, it's kind of. Got another something. printing and all. This is the lady who's celebrating her birthday. That's One amazing. A hundred years. Hundred. It's a hundred. It's amazing. There's a boy over there who's 16. There's a note boy here, 18. Yeah. Two of them celebrating a her birthday is amazing, isn't yeah, it? A, I think it's a great omen. You know, yeah, the, the hundred is. might wear off on you. Yeah. It's wonderful. <laughs> and it's she's wonderful. And and look she, at you. You're I'm 80. Young, young. And, I'm oh, no, 80, no. 80, 80, 80. Who are you, dear? You, I'm Sharon you, Evans. Sharon Evans. How are yes. you, Sharon? Who are you with this handsome date? And I'm Rick Rogers. We're the team of Evans and Rogers. Not to Same. not to not to confuse. Are you guys going to perform today? Well, well I am. So yeah. um, yes. Uh, Tom Tangan asked me to come and sing for uh, Ms. Lemley. Uh huh. And uh, do a couple of special songs just for her. Okay, special. Are you a jazz singer, really? Yes, I am. Uh huh. Yes. I'm Skippy Low. I have a talent night on Monday nights at the uh, Camden House in Brighton Way. We oh, heard about the Camden you got House. Yes. Would you come in? And do something for me on a next Monday. I have Monday? some very big producers coming next Monday. Nine o'clock show. Oh, Would you? Nine o'clock? I, I think, think we we're can. available. Okay, great. I'm gonna. You have a card? Yes, <laughs> I do. do. Okay. I love the team who knows what they're doing. And we've just released our first CD. Okay, what is and it? And it's called Standing Right Beside a Rainbow. Oh, really? And you can hear it on the internet. Uh huh. And. Uh, oh, I love this. Look at that. Isn't that great? Yeah. And, and look at the rainbow there and the gramophone. Ah! And I'm winding it up. I'm a crank. How I'm great. It. I love it. I love it. And then on so the back we have the uh, the old cameos there. Absolutely. look like the sheet music from the 1910 like, or something like that. This guy around Hollywood, Richard uh, Halper. Yes. Oh, he's a good he's a he's mine too. He us. He, oh, did he? he? Yes. Uh, he started player. my showcases years and years ago at the Hyatt on I Sunset. I didn't know that. Oh, oh. yeah. He'll tell you. Okay. I've interviewed oh, Richard many times. On a matter of fact, I like to interview both togetherness at the Beverly Hills High School where I do my TV shows. Right. So we'll talk about that later, okay? Right. Looking forward Monday. To Monday. Monday. Thanks to see you in there, okay? Okay. Looking Thank forward. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. That's good. Come on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carla. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, lady. You talk to me a few minutes about this lovely lady, and you helped her with the book and all that. Bradbury, tell me something. How did you meet this lovely lady? It's okay. How did you meet this beautiful Carla? This is a great time for all of us because of her family. Her family made the greatest film of their time in Hollywood. I saw her dancing in the Phantom of the Opera when I was six years old. That was 1928. 1926. Earlier. Oh, really? The original family. So I saw the film when I was six years old. That's why I'm here. I see. Okay, thank you. You're wonderful. What's happening with you in your life, Don? You look great. Thank you. I love you to all say hello to, wish her a happy birthday in that camera. A hundred years old. One hundred today. Can you imagine? Say, happy birthday, Carla. Well, happy birthday to Carla with all my heart. Happy birthday. I brought this 16-year-old actor who's in the film of yours, yes. your last film. Oh. And this is Karen. We met very met briefly at Oh, we did? Yes. 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 Over here, turn it. And this young man is in your film, the last movie. Oh. It's coming out. Oh. And I want to ask him, he wants to ask you a question yes. about uh, any advice you can give him as a young actor. What advice could you give him? Do you have some advice? He's only 16. Well, you just follow your heart and your spirit and uh, just be true to yourself. That's wonderful, Cara. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank Happy you. birthday.